Alright folks, welcome back to Karak Avaron's Gaming. We're back in Skyrim. And we are on Baldric Valdon, the Daedric Artifact Hunter. And we are hunting another artifact. We are at... The Seclium of Boethia. Now, this is an interesting quest line, uh, because you have to sacrifice somebody. And our sacrifice, unfortunately, is going to be Lydia. Um, Lydia has to die. That's just the way it is. So, before we get going, let me go over quickly who Baldric Valdon is. Baldric is a Breton mage who is in Skyrim exclusive for the exclusive reason of hunting down and obtaining Daedric artifacts. And he's got quite a few so far. I think he's got nine or ten, or nine or eight, eight, nine or ten. I can't remember. So. Uh, that is his sole purpose here. Once those are accumulated, Baldric will move on. Now, Baldric is a mage. Um, as you can see, he's wearing the Archmage robe of Winterhold, uh, College of Winterhold. So we've done that quest line. He's also got Morakai, the um, Dragon Priest light mask, which is fantastic uh, piece. 100% uh, magic. Uh, Magicka regenerates 100% faster. Highly recommend that piece. For any mage character you may play, if you do the College of Winterhold quest line, you'll get both pieces without giving it away what you need to do. You will get them if you're successful. So basically, Baldi uses a lot of illusion magic, some destruction to supplement and some conjuration to bring up some uh, Atronox to support him. Now, I don't travel with a companion often. But I did need her, Lydia, for one of the other uh, Daedric quests that I did. Um, it was just, it was a bear. So, uh, any rate, we're here now, and we're going to get going on this quest. Now, I haven't done this one in a long, long time. Um, in the end, you do get a Daedric artifact. Um, I remember a part of it. I don't remember how you actually obtain it. I remember up until a certain point. So that's cool. I, you know, I've been playing Skyrim for so long. I've done most of the quests, but this one is going to be semi new to me as well, which is cool. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Smash the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Leave a comment. All that juicy stuff really helps me, helps the channel, and keeps me motivated to keep producing and creating content. And just to give you a quick gist of what the channel is, I am just a gamer. I don't do a lot of editing, I don't do a lot of, um, you know, splicing, cutting, pasting. Basically, you just see a gamer gaming here. Alright, so let's get going on this quest. All right, we have combat music right away. So those guys are fighting. Let me make sure I'm on master level. Oh, legendary, okay. We need to be a master. <laughs> I play on my, um, yeah, on my uh, mages, I don't play um, legendary level. It's just crazy. We need to turn the music down a little bit here. So if I remember, your, the music cuts right into the dialogue. Is this some kind of cult? Or who is Boethia? The Lord of Blunts, deceiver of nations, devourer of Trinum. Okay. Shadows, goddess of destruction, he who destroys and she who Many are our Lord's lofty names, but they befit only us mortals. Intone her mighty names from now until the end of time. It is for the Lord. Names mean nothing to our Lord. She only cares for those who care for themselves. Okay. Whose hearts are full of purpose, whose lives are full of deeds. Yeah, my heart's full of purpose and my life is full of deeds. My sole purpose is to get Daedric artifacts. <laughs> if you desire a glimpse of our dark mistress, then this is what you must do. Out, 
first. Prove your tongue can wield a lie. Find someone, gain his trust, lead him to the shrine above. Next, instruct your thrall to touch the pillar of sacrifice. Its magic will ensnare him, rendering him helpless. Okay. Then, girded with certitude, plant the ceremonial blade deeply so that the waters of his heart wash away. If your will is strong enough, it will stir Boethia in her dark mansion, and she will appear before us. Okay, I'll do it. That remains to be seen, but if it is so, and if Boethia appears, then we will welcome you as one of us. Now, Lydia, you didn't hear any of that, right? Lead someone to become trapped by the shrine and slay them. All right. Well, Lydia, I'm sorry. You've been a, a faithful companion, and you've been a tremendous help, but I am your Thane, and I command you. I've got your back. I need you to do something. All right. What is it? What do you need? I'm right behind you. All right. What is it? What do you need? Okay, got it. Goodbye, Lydia. I'm sorry for this, but... mortal that is most unwise tell me why have you slain this one who trusted you here upon my shrine uh to gain your favor and my to get the daedra cardica <laughs> my good pleasure is not some trophy for mortal sport I should slay you for such insolence. I'm not afraid of you. I'm the Dragonborn. Is that so? Yeah. You should be. Though a heart without fear is something I can use. Perhaps you are the one I seek. We shall soon find out. Listen, all of you. Okay. Hear me. I have need of a warrior. Only the most ruthless, cunning, and agile will do. You have gathered here night after night, sacrificing fools upon my shrine, and sparring aimlessly with yourselves. But which among you truly exceeds the rest? That would be me. Prove yourselves to me. I am the Dragonborn. I have a special task for whichever of you is left standing. Okay. So this is a battle royale? Oh boy. Okay. The mage is going to be the biggest problem. You attack the mage. <laughs> Definitely taking that. 
Nice blade. Well done. You have proven the strength of your will and your tongue's gift for lies. You have shown ferocity and prowess in combat. Now the time has come for a final proving. Are you able to cast aside your honor and strike with the hidden blade? If it means I'm gonna get a Daedric artifact, yeah. I'll do whatever you ask. I have little need for mindless thralls. My servants serve their own purposes. But if their will is insufficient, nor suitably aligned with mine, I simply destroy them. Which brings me to my present concern. My previous champion displeases me. It is time he is replaced. Okay. In the traditional fashion. Where can I find him? You will find him holed up at Knife Point Ridge, where he plays king to bandits and highwaymen. Okay, say no more. He's as good as dead. Kill every single member of his band. Do so as silently and invisibly as you can. For this is not about you. You are to be my instrument in this. Okay. Slay him in the coldest of blood. Do not give him the dignity of defending himself. Once his corpse lays cold upon the ground, and all trace of his followers erased, retrieve my ebony mail, a gift fit only for my true champion. Gotcha. May your will carve itself upon the world. Huh? I thought everybody was dead. All right. Everybody's got a blade of sacrifice here. It's a really cool um, knife. I'm sorry, Lydia. I'm sorry you had to die. I really am. Alright, so we gotta go find this guy, her former champion. Who, who the hell? So this is the part that I don't really remember. Oh my god, it's way over here. Okay. So, it looks like we're going to do some run simulating, which is fine. Um, like I said before in the intro, uh, I don't edit my videos. I don't splice them up to make things, you know, nice and tight and easy to watch. I mean, this is a gamer's channel, and when you're gaming in Skyrim, this is a lot of what you have to do. You do have to run around and find places. I mean, that's just the way it is, and... If you were to be playing today, you'd have to do that too. And that looks like it's Mike. Let's talk to Mike. Mike. Mike loves the people of Skyrim. Many interesting things they say to each other. Mike. Mike is tired now. Go bother somebody else. <laughs> okay, Mike. Um, and when you're in Skyrim, when you're running around, that's when sometimes pretty cool stuff happens. You know, you can get robbed, uh, an assassin shows up, dragons, um, so I don't, I don't like to skip these parts. Now, it can also just be running around from location to location and it's like, oh my god, is this dude finished yet? But we're gonna do that and this is a good point where you can go up, get a drink, uh, come back, and pick up the video when you come, when you're back. All right. So how close are we? Oh wow, I got a long freaking way to go. Am I gonna even be able to get there from here? I don't see how you can get there. I have to do some mountain climbing. One of the beauties of Skyrim is you can jump up mountains. Okay, this looks like it could be a long way down. I hear you. I have no desire to... I, I gain nothing by killing wolves. I don't need the 
the materials. I've got plenty of money, plenty of resources. All right, we got to jump up this mountain. <laughs> no, maybe not there. Juniper berries? Yep, cool. So, are you still playing Skyrim? Uh, do you still fire this baby up every once in a while? I mean, uh, I play probably a couple of times a month. I love it. Still. Alright, I'm not going to be able to just jump up here, am I? Okay, we'll go around. Oh, what's that? Or We'll stop and gather that. <clears throat> right, maybe I can make the journey a little quicker here. Oh yeah, I'm not going to be able to jump up that. Alright, what do I need to do here? Can I get up over there? No, i got to get all the way over there and then go around, it looks like. Alright, this is going to be a pain in the ass, but... Alright, well, hopefully we don't jump to our deaths here. But if we do, it's been nice knowing you. random chest we would never have found had we <clears throat> excuse me not done that and what's that a skull just floating away <laughs> love it all right yeah looks like we gotta head up there huh okay <clears throat> excuse me grab this nern all right is this the right path? I don't know where this head brings us. I'm not sure where that brings us. So let's follow it. Hopefully it brings us closer to our objective. I don't I don't remember coming up here before. So I don't know what's up here. Oh, that's, uh, we're in the reach, right? So that's going to be Forsworn. Is this a shortcut? Did I just... Oh, that's a ruin, right? Well, how the hell do I get to this freaking temple? Someone's been here. Oh, hello. It's me, buddy. Lost Valley Readout Discovery. here. Alright, I think I found the right place, but geez, this place is huge. Oh, I got a level up. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. He's dead. How do I get up there? Yeah, someone's right here, buddy. <clears throat> and now I'm gone. What was that? Okay. There's lots of people around here. We gotta start to use some of our uh, illusion. 
I just need one. Get them to start attacking each other. Here he's decided to let the hags turn him into a briar heart. What? That's a true reachman. Hope he heads to Mars. That was a mistake. <laughs> Oh shoot. No, I'm not giving up. <laughs> nope. I am gonna hide though. Invisibility for the win. Right in front of me, so. Oh shoot! You can't hide from me. Yes, I can. Uh oh. No, I don't want to die today. Uh oh. Ocean here. Oh, he's got a frost adronach too. Okay. It's, I gotta run. Please move. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shoot. Please jump. Thank you. Please jump again. Thank you. Round and round we go. <clears throat> Usually by now my astronaut is pulled. Aggro. I need you to pull that aggro, buddy. Let's freaking people out of here. There we go. Alright, and invisibility. I don't even know if I'm in the right place. <laughs> so this is the best the best part about Skyrim. Is you get into these jams. Does he still see me? Shit. Well and sometimes when you get into jams in Skyrim, you're dead. So, here we are back at the last save point. That's disappointing.
That's unfortunate. Slay everyone at Knife Point Ridge, stealthily. Okay. I thought... Interesting. Alright. I didn't realize that... I guess I had just visited the wrong location. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that then. Um, if you're still watching, thanks for hanging in there. I really appreciate it. Um, let's just make sure I'm at the right place. Slay everyone at Knife Point Ridge. Okay. Um, I guess I had another quest queued up. Oh well. Still fun. It was a good death, too. I almost got through it. When you play a mage character, you know, you basically uh you you're gambling cuz and one shot oh hello Ugh. Jesus can i just run up to this place right. sorry i'm just going to end up absorbing all your magic up buddy Pearl, nice. Uh, Atronach stone for the win there. All right, let's get to this knife point ridge. Oh, actually, is there anything worth taking here? I need the poison, but that book looks good. Conjuration. All right. So we got our level up anyways. Let's do that now. Get that out of the way. We'll get Magicka. Let's see if we can't get this uh, quest moving along here. <clears throat> I mean, I just it, it added like 50, 10 minutes because of that fight because I went to the wrong location. Such a bonehead. Oh well. Death Bell? Nightshade. Dragon must have attacked down there. Alright, so... Please don't... Please tell me I don't have to jump another mountain. Oh, hello. What's that? Iron ore? We'll grab that. Alright, so hopefully we're... At the right location this time. I didn't screw it up. <laughs> All right. Rabbit. Okay. Thought I heard footsteps. Oh, hello. Already, someone's triggered. Knife Point Ridge. Just a rabbit, guys. Got him. Shoot. I'm not as good as dead if I have an invisibility spell. I'm right here. I'm sliding down the mountain, buddy. Alright. You're not gonna find me, though. Thank you. Please jump, thank you. Huh? Oh, God. Hear I was 
sure I heard All right. We're, we're where we need to be. Now I just need to get a couple of illusion spells off. And you look like you're going to be the first target, although they're a little too close. Go fight each other. Good job. Time to end this little game. Oh, review open. Damn it. Nowhere to run here. And invisibility for the win. Good, you guys just keep killing each other. I'll hide. Shit, there's more of them. Alright, time to stop screwing around here. Alright. We need the... We're gonna use the fire at Trinox. We got one over here. Behind the tree, we can kite him. A little easier. Maybe not. Great aim, buddy. The hell was that? Alright. Good. He'll get right in his face. Good. Okay. Are there more here? What did I kill? Like six of them or seven? Version of fire, don't need it. Alright. Went down pretty damn fast. That's nice. All right, I'm sure there's a lot of treasure around here, but oh, hello, someone else in there. 
Really? All that calamity? You didn't hear anything? Is someone there? Yeah, dude. I just killed like eight people. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Is there someone there? Yeah, you didn't hear all your friends getting slaughtered? Alright. So we got a mine here? Uh, nothing. Alright. Knife point mine. Okay. What do we got? Mushrooms? Is that a scroll? Oh, just a roll of paper, okay. Where is So, where is the other guy, then? Get around here. It's a lot of iron ore. Lost chest. Oh, look at that. Go down there and fight him. No? Okay. I tried. Alright, we'll use flames on this one because there's oil on the ground. We'll let him reset and then we'll burn his ass up right over there. Grab that boss thing. chest. No, you didn't just hear things, buddy. You just didn't go down where I wanted you to. So, now you die. Oh, maybe I die. No, no, no. Potion. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, okay. What did I shoot him into the frickin'? I don't see a chest in there, I just see more ore, which is fine, but I'm not really here for ore. I am here for this boss chest, though. Glass war axe of stunning, okay. True shot, gold, gold diamond necklace, nice. I don't need gold, though. Alright. So the champion is obviously down here. More ore here. Never should have come here. Okay. Is the Atronach. You guys pull aggro. I'll show you a real Great. Fight. Yeah. Sorry, dude. I'm not a hand to hand combat guy. Nope. Okay. Now he'll probably be right there. 
So let's get... I guess we're going to have to use the wolf here. Because he's... Oh, there's the Atronach. Alright. The wolf at least attacks and pulls aggro. The Atronach is pretty much a ranged fire. Alright. Let's see if we can improve a little bit here. I need to get these people fighting each other. What was that? Imagination. Guy's pretty tough. one out of the way. I don't know where the aggro is. They're fighting somebody down there. Okay. Oh, hello. That's the champion. Good, let them fight each other. Okay, what do we got here? Nice little array of items. Invisibility potion? It'll sell well. Huh. Didn't realize there was that much in here. Okay. In addition to, um, all of the ore. But this guy... Champion of Boethia. Ebony shield? Nice. Wow, he's fully geared out in ebony. That's pretty sweet. Ebony male. You are able to move more quietly, and opponents that get too close take 5 points poison damage per second. Alright, but we're still not done with the quest. I still gotta kill one more of these. Definitely a nice location. Or the whole bit. Alright. So let's... Where is this last guy? Oh, there he is. Okay. Someone's here! Oh my god. Alright. Retrieve an 
and equip. Retrieve and equip the ebony mail. Okay. You have done well, my champion. You have earned my respect. A feat few manage and live to tell about. I shall write your name upon the tablet of absolute darkness. You may keep my ebony mail. A token of my appreciation to my new champion. Its gifts will resonate with your talents. Now go. I have strings to pull that require my full attention. You may pursue your own course wherever it leads you. Remember always this. As you will it, so it shall be. Completed Boethius Calling, and that is the Ebony Mail. So, Ebony Mail, you are able to move quietly, more quietly, and opponents that get too close take 5 point, po points of poison damage per second. Um, nice piece. This is um, definitely something that I would get if I were to run a Barbarian character like a two-hander um, on Legendary. Like, I would get this and use maybe the Ebony Blade and just just have a whole Ebony outfit. That would be pretty cool. Um, there's a nice Ebony Shield here, too, and Gauntlet. So, definitely worth doing. I mean, you, I mean all of these alone, if you sell these, are pretty penny. Um, great loot in this particular location with a lot of, uh, a lot of ore. It's cut Corundum, which is great, but uh, yeah, I hadn't really explored down here before. Um, I have, so I have been in the location. So unfortunately, when we first started, I went to the wrong location. We had a nice little fight where I died <laughs> to some Reachmen, but it is what it is. But at any rate, um, we did, Baldric of Aldon has yet again obtained another Daedric artifact, and that is the Ebony Mail. So, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Hopefully you hung in there for the entirety of it. Um, I really appreciate you coming by, taking your time to watch my content. Remember to smash that like button. Please subscribe, share the video, leave a comment, all that good stuff. It really helps me and helps the channel. All right, thanks so much, and we'll talk to you again soon.